Welcome back. It's Zion from Yukon Demand, where we bring your fingerstyle song lessons and tabs. This tutorial was requested by one of our members over at yukondemand.com, and that's a feature that comes with membership. Members get to make song suggestions, and the link is at the bottom of the song's page. In this video, we're going to go over the first two bars of Time in a Bottle, but you can get the rest of the song lesson and all the tabs over at ukeondemand.com. So let's get started. We're going to begin this song with an A minor, but this is not going to look like your standard A minor up here at the second fret. Instead, we're going to get, pretend it's your E minor chord shape, you're probably more familiar with that. And you're going to have it up here starting at the 7th fret of the A string. So it's going to be index on the 7th fret of the A, middle on the 8th fret of the E, and ring finger on the 9th fret of the C. And we're going to completely bypass the G string. Alright, so the intro will sound like this. Alright, this is that's the first part. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to strum that A minor, just the bottom three strings. Pinky comes to 12th fret. We're going to leave the chord where it's at. Pinky comes to 12th, pick that. And then go back and forth. We're going to go 7, just lift off. 12, 7, 12. All right. Now we're going to strum the chord one more time. And now we're going to go back and forth between the 7th fret and the 11th fret. Alright, so 11, 7, 11, 7, 11. And no, the gas station did not sponsor this video. Going into the next what part. And again, strum the A minor chord. Now back and forth between the 10th fret. So 10th, 7th. 10th, 7th, 10th. So this is a, quite a fun intro actually. But let's put that part to, first part together. So strum. 12, 7, 12, 7, 12. Strum 11, 7, 11, 7, 11. Strum 10, 7, 10, 7, 10. From here, we're going to go into a D chord shape. And so you can make a full bar D chord, but you can also just do the first part and again, skip the G string. So what it's gonna look like, how I played in the video is, you're gonna end bar the bottom two, string, or the bottom two strings on the fifth fret with the index finger. Middle finger comes to the sixth fret of the C. And just play, play those bottom three strings. Now you can add the ring finger to the seventh fret of the G string. It's not absolutely necessary, but if you want a full chord, then that's totally fine. If you decide to leave it off, then just strum the bottom three strings. So after that, now Pinky's gonna go back and forth between the ninth fret of the A string. So it's gonna be nine, five, nine, five, nine, from here, she's going to slide this index finger to barring the 5th fret of the C as well. And again, if you want to make a full chord, you can also add the ring finger to the 7th fret of the G string and do a full D minor. Or you can just leave it off and continue ignoring the G string for this beginning part. And just strum bottom, 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Ring finger to the seventh fret of the E string. Pinky to eighth fret. Then strum again, just the bar. Come down, third fret of A. Second fret A. Then come up to here. Middle finger on the 4th fret of the C, and ring finger on the 4th fret of the E. I'm going to pick them together. 
open A, submit index finger goes to the second fret of the A. All right, so that's the end of bar two. So let's let's put that new section we just learned slowly, starting with the D. So strum nine five nine five nine. Then just barring the fifth fret, bottom three strings. Seventh fret E, eighth fret. I'm gonna strum it again. Third of the A. Second, middle finger and ring finger go to the fourth frets of C and E. Open A. Index finger goes to the second fret of the A. All right, moving and actually you get a little bit more than the first two bars, a sneak peek of bar three to finish out this finger-picking intro before the melody actually begins. We're going to come, for, we're still in this position, and from here, we're gonna pick the seventh fret and slide to the fifth. So it'll sound like this. One more time. Third fret. And then the second fret. So that little, that little section by itself. And then once we pick that second fret of the A, then we would immediately go into the melody. And that's how to play the first two bars of Time in a Bottle on the ukulele. I hope you've enjoyed learning it so far. To get the rest of the song lesson and all the tabs, head over to ukeondemand.com and make sure to subscribe below so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming fingerstyle tutorials. We'll see you next time.